So I have a strange anomaly here. I took out the uh, magnet wire and I put in just regular copper wire. It's a uh, uh, 25 AWEG uh, copper wire here on the small one and then the big ones in the back are quarter inch. Here's the thing. If you watch this, it gets up there three, sometimes four, right? But when I put it in the back over here, I'm getting two, one, two. Now it's slowing down almost nothing. One. There's no wind there. There's nothing. It's not even sucking it in. But, if I move to this side, right over here, and there's uh, aluminum foil obviously on that right side right there. So now watch. Let's see if we can't get it going again. Turn the lights and see it. And there's four right there before it sparks out. Back out. And there it is again, four. So, what I'm thinking is, and it's a much lower amount than the magnet wire would give me, what I'm honestly thinking, because it doesn't come on on this side, so if I run it this way on this side where it's open, just so you know, right here, we don't have anything. So now it's coming out this side and it's coming out this side. Okay? And you can smell the ozone in the air, it's not like you can't. So what do I think it is? Well, a high voltage going to the magnet wire, anytime it hits the magnet wire, creates a field. And we're creating a field with the magnet wire. With the bare wire, it's not recreating such a field. Not as big as we want. So it's going towards the field that's the biggest, which is the back side. So everything's reversed, okay, without that magnet wire in there. So let me know if I'm wrong, but that's just a strange anomaly. And it may pure, prove uh, very useful in the future. Okay. Anyway, that was it. I just want to show you that. It was kind of weird. Normally I don't show these kind of things, but this is just one of those oddball things that happens and sometimes it just kind of makes you wonder